summer is tough for parents, especially mm -hmm. without the same structure the school year provides. That's right. Early childhood education specialist Amber Jane joins us to share some helpful tips for parents to help keep their little ones busy and actively learning all summer long. This is a true story. Right before we went on, Tony looked at me and said, what's your son doing for the summer? And yep. I said, what are your kids doing for the summer? It's mm -hmm. a topic of conversation. It is, absolutely. You know? And it's, like some, it's, it's something that we started talking about back in January. 100%. Uh, but it's something, it's here now, so how do we fix it? How do we make it work? You want a routine, so kids love a routine, but I try not to say do not get stressed out. Summers should be fun, uh -huh. sure. but kids thrive on routine. So to make it easy, I say every week, like on Monday, maybe you go to the park. Okay. Tuesday, you go to the library. Wednesday, you run errands. Thursday, maybe you do like a play date. If you keep it just one thing a day, every day of the week, you're getting the little ones out of your house, you're getting out of the house, just makes it a little bit easier. It's on a routine and then they know what's coming. They, they know what coming, comes next. What's coming next. next. Yeah. yeah, I was just gonna ask you, that's probably a big part of it too, is just letting them know, like, hey, this exactly. is happening yeah. and just so they can set expectations. So let's talk about, um, you know, you talked about having fun in the summer. We don't want yeah. to all be routine and all that all the time, but how do you create fun spaces, calm spaces? Mm -hmm. I feel like with not being in the routine with summer, it's mm -hmm. important to have a, a reading nook or something, right? Exactly like a little cozy corner, I call it. So they have puzzles, games, something that they can, like maybe markers, waterproof oh, things cute. that you can get, you know, so they don't make a total mess. But you can go do some house chores and they can also play. So I say a cozy corner where they're safe and they're engaged and they're creative. It's a really great way to keep them entertained. I, it's interesting. I don't know if you have this for your girls, but the, um, we did a tent with a lights in it at one point, yes. and it was amazing. I, I thought kind of did it on a whim, and it's amazing yeah. how they gravitate towards oh, it. Oh, totally. We have it in the classroom. We have like multiple of them, little bunk beds or tents, and they love it with little blankets and pillows. It just makes them feel safe, and that's why I like to call it the cozy corner. Well, I'm, I'm going to say this because I think a lot of parents out there are asking, how much time should I be dedicating to spending time mm -hmm. with my kids in the summer? I mean, we all have real life and then we have our kids, right? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, it's good to, of course we want to spend time with our kids. Mm -hmm. So just like reading with them. I think it's really important to read with them. And maybe every time you guys read a book, they get a little prize. Maybe or they read, read five books and they get a little prize. So, you know, I just think it's always a balance and don't stress. I always say just give yourself grace. We're all just trying to do our best. That's right. right? And there's so <laughs> many reading programs, I think, through a lot of the libraries, yes. too, that you mm -hmm. can, you yes. know, I know that that's always helpful. We had Book It. Did you have Book It? No, but the, the, the Chicago Public Library right now has a program going that for kids for yes. zero to 12, because my oh. kids just signed up for it, they have a reading challenge, mm -hmm. and at the end they turn in all of their yep. uh, their assignments, mm. and they can actually get a prize. Yeah, my kids loved it growing up. They That's always really did helpful. that. Yeah. Okay, so um, one of the things that you had mentioned um, earlier in some notes I was reading is that gardening, of all things, is like kids love it. Is that true? Yes, so kids love to get messy. Kids should oh. be getting messy, and water table outside a sandbox maybe start a little garden that they can water themselves they can watch it grow I just think it's really important for our kids to be outdoors kids need play like they need to be outdoors and running around but a water sand and a garden is a great way for that and I think too with the gardening if you're planting vegetables then they can grab the vegetables yes. and then you teach them how to cut the vegetables yeah <laughs> I mean, there's it's a lot also of layers a great there. way to introduce them to vegetables yeah oh. you know they're right. growing the tomatoes and they're red like you can go pick that now so it's just a really great way to introduce vegetables as well never would have thought about gardening and this kind of goes back to my other question about how much time you spend with your kids so you say come up with play dates that you can swap with other parents yes so I think play days swaps, I call them. Or if you have a grandparent or an aunt, a family member nearby, it's really great for our kids to be socialized with different people. Mm -hmm. And they might have other kids, right? So if you need to go run errands and you don't want to bring your kids, maybe ask a friend and you just do a play date swap. So maybe one week it's your turn and then the next week it's your friend's turn. And it's just a really great way to get a break, get some time for you, run some errands. But also your kids are learning how to socialize. They're learning how to 
to make friends, so it's a really great thing for them too. I think I've also found too with play dates that kids tend to know how to act at other people's houses. Oh, yes. How to use their manners. Yes, they do. Please and thank you. I always <laughs> said I would rather my kids be better with other people. That's true. So it is a really good lesson for them to learn. Real quickly, oh. should you incorporate actual lessons like math and reading and science and different things into this summer play? I mean, a little bit. If your kids want to, then go for it. But I think it's a really great way to have a break. Kids mm -hmm. should have a break. Kids should just be outside and playing. And But if they want to, if they're excited about it, give it to them. Okay. All Good right. stuff. All right, Amber Jane, thank you so much. Yeah, Good welcome. tips. Thank you to see. Good to see you. All right.